Hey friends, thank you so much for watching another video. Today, we're gonna to be working on this Wii Remote. Wiimote, I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm gonna tear apart, give it a good clean. It's not too bad, but if you get up nice and close, you can see that there's a lot of like grime around the buttons, just around the edge of it, which honestly isn't too surprising because Wii's are getting pretty old now. Um, I remember when they first came out, which seems like it wasn't too long ago, but I'm pretty sure it was around like 2006-ish. Don't quote me on that. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna tear it apart, give it a good clean. This remote, it sometimes works. Uh, you can see right now it is flashing, so it is working now, but um, it sometimes doesn't like to work, and I think it's because it has a bit of corrosion. I had a look at one of the battery terminals. I'll try and put a clip up now, and um, you can see that there's a tiny bit of corrosion on one of the terminals, just one, so hopefully we can clean it up. Ideally, it'd be nice to just replace that terminal altogether, but let's be honest, my soldering iron is not up to the job of that, and my skills are below par with that. Yeah, I could learn but I think we can just get away with cleaning it for now. If it gets worse in the future, then I'll probably pull it apart and try and replace it the correct way. But for now, I'm just gonna give it a good clean, tidy it all up, and hopefully it works mint after that. So stick around, watch me do that, and please enjoy. So these clips at the top are super difficult to undo, and as you can see, I was already missing one. Just be careful when opening it and you should be right.
there you go just like that we're all done and it looks pretty good um i wasn't expecting a massive change from this because as i said in the start it wasn't that bad it's just that it had that tiny bit of corrosion and a little bit of thumb juice in the in the buttons but it's cleaned up pretty good um the only thing is i will definitely need to be replacing that terminal because the, all the corrosion i couldn't get rid of all of it plus really if you had a terminal that's gotten corroded like that Really, you should just be replacing it anyway because you don't know what it's going to end up. Like, it, it'll probably corrode later on anyway. So, I'll be keeping an eye out for a new terminal, probably on eBay, pretty cheap. And it didn't look too hard to replace. It's literally just one soldering point, heat it up, remove it, new one in, boom, done. Doesn't seem too bad, but I'll need a new soldering iron because my one is crap. Anyways, thank you for watching. It's not too hard to do. So, if you want to do something like this, it's literally, I think I did it in about two hours, and that was including filming. And yeah. Nah, didn't take too long. So if you've got an old Wii controller, I definitely, definitely recommend giving it clean because they get pretty bad. But as I said, mine wasn't too bad. I'm repeating myself. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.